On this trip I've linked up with Cam McCoy from Otago. It's a bit of a summer fitness training mission for us. The stags are just starting to think about stripping now, so we're just out and about checking over a few stags to see if there's anything out there that we might want to take. Probably can hardly hear because it's as windy as hell. We've just spotted some stags way over there. There's four stags about a couple of k's away. So Cam and I are going to go have a look, see if we can get a bit closer and see if there's any good ones there. Looks like there's one that's really wide, so we're going to have a look. Oh, it's been a massive first day of our hunt. We're getting pretty buggered now because I don't know how long we'll be going for. It's about seven, uh, eight, what's it now? Know, Bloody quarter to nine probably. It's getting quite late, about quarter to nine now. We'll be going since six o'clock this morning. So it's been a big day. We've seen quite a few deer. Managed to get up to a couple of stags. We spooked one lot of stags. They got away on us and then uh, we managed to get right up and film some quite, well one quite decent stag. And now we're just trying to head back to where we left our tents and stuff. So we've got a huge mission to get back and it's going to be pretty dark by the time we get back and we'll be pretty hungry. Oh well, that's the way it is. It's day two of our summer hunting trip into the high country. We've had a pretty slow start this morning because yesterday we did about, I don't know, almost 30 k's of walking distance. A fair bit of elevation as well. Um, we're pretty buggered. We saw quite a few stags and had to chase a few down but we didn't bother shooting any of them. Luckily that wind is buggered off because it was so windy yesterday but it's a bit better today. Um, so we're keen to get out a bit later on and have another look around and things have settled down a bit hopefully and we'll be able to pinpoint some more stags. So it's about mid-afternoon now, um, we're getting sick of sitting around in the summer sun, so we're going to go for a wee walk down the valley, 
and hopefully we'll find a spot that looks like a good ridge to climb up and we'll get some altitude and hopefully we'll be in the right position that as the evening sets in to have a good look around and see if we can find some more animals. Right, time to climb another hill again. Off you go. <laughs> and up. Straight up, as usual. of ideas tonight really we've been way up behind us up into the steeper hills there looking for deer we've seen about 12 deer but they're all hinds and fawns and things like that and no stags about so we've decided to drop back down and go and have a quick look somewhere else before it gets dark and we might be in for a much earlier night than we had last night I think last night we ended up pitting up at about bloody I don't know midnight probably it, about midnight because uh, it took us so long to get home from where we ended up but Tonight we're a bit closer to camp, so it should be an easier night for us. Rightio, it's early morning on day three. We're getting up pretty early this morning and we're going to head up the valley in the dark. Try to find a good vantage point to glass, a really good area, just as daylight breaks. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Oh well, up another hill. I've seen about, I oh don't know, 10 stags this morning. Not sure if any of them are big enough, but we've seen some up here that we can't see properly, so we're gonna have to climb up and go around to check them out. We're just cruising our way on down the valley now. This trip's been more about walking than anything else. We have seen quite a few stags, but none of them are really what we wanted to take, so we just leave them alone and we're happy to see them and hope they'll grow for another time. We've done heaps of walking. It's a bit of a fitness trip for the start of the season. We're just moving into the hard antler time now and end of summer, moving in towards autumn, so good to get a bit of fitness in. 